Hi friends, we'll continue our uh, learning on different different formats where we can create data frame and pass data from it to a different format. In that, we'll now learn about uh, how to transfer the data frame data to a HTML table. So the entire data can be viewed in a browser or we can kept it in, a, in, in our internet or intranet wherever so once it is a html file we, we can use it in our system but what happens is we have to transfer the entire data with different different options in it so we can uh, the way we want we can get the output in our browser so for that we'll uh, learn about two html we are in our collab platform so i am import pandas as pd so library is available now I am pasting a dictionary. This has just uh, have a three columns only, a three keys and values. Values are list here, name, ID, and English. The values are a list only. So using this dictionary, I'll create a data frame. So for that, I am writing df equal to pd dot data frame. Now what should be my source? My data is taken from my dict or my dictionary here. Now my data frame is ready. If you want to check it, let's just run once and see how this looks. So it will be fine. This is a simple data frame uh, having three rows. Now instead of that, what I am going to do is create a, a HTML table out of it. So what I am going to, I'll give a, I'll use two HTML. So df dot two HTML. Now what happens like this? If I'll give it, it will print to the console. So let's just run this and see. Sorry, here it is. You can see here the table is printed. Here it, our table border, all the default things it has taken. But usually we'll create a file here. So what I'm going to give is I'll give a student HTML because I am working on Google Cloud Platform. So where this file will be created? There is a session drive here. You can see here I'm just closing and opening. In this session drive, this file will be created. I can refresh it so you nothing is there. So this same student file will be created. Uh, sorry, this student HTML will be created here. Now let's just run this. Yeah, it is created. Now let me refresh it. I should get, yeah, it is there. Now once I double click this, I will get the source of it, it is here. So here you, you can see here name, ID, math, and all, of, all the columns are added here. But what happens here frequently we'll be checking in a browser how the, because it's a HTML file. So you, though we can continue this with our, all our options, but we'll use our local system. We are in our uh, Visual Studio code in our local system. Same thing in Pandas library is available. And I am reading the Excel file to student example Excel file to create the data frame. This already we have discussed read Excel. So the same one I'm using. And the next line, what I am doing is again the two HTML I am using it and transferring the data frame to a table. And this time I am creating uh, inside my C drive, inside data directory, the student.html file I am creating. If I run this, I will get the file. So let's just run this. There is no error, hopefully. Yeah. So let me just go to my student. Here it is, my student file. And I, if I will double click this, I will open it. Yeah. Here it is. I have opened in the browser. All the, 30, I think, 35 records are there. 35 records are displayed. We can remove the index column because we can say index equal to false. So no index column will be created. And also we can specify what are the columns to be used. So we can say that part also. So I'm giving a list now. I'm saying that uh, create these only columns. So I'm saying ID because that is their name I'm giving and say mark. So these three only I will be using. So for that, I am saying columns equal to L1. Now what happens is these three columns and you see we have also given index equal to false. So no index should be there. So let's just run this once. Fine, the file is created. Let me go back. Okay, directly I'll go uh, here and refresh it. Yeah, you can see ID name mark. I can specify max rows and columns. So I'll say don't use all the columns, use three columns and number of rows also. But these are all integers. So I'll say max rows equal to, let's say five col uh, five rows I'll use. And let me remove everything else. And okay, now max 
calls columns how many let's say i will we'll use uh, three so this now i restricted it so i am running it again fine so let's go here refresh this you can see only three because i have index i have not made it false so the index is added and three columns are there and two three four five five are there so here you can see the the width has come down so that also we can adjust we can remove the headers also so i'll just uh, remove this and say sorry comma i missed header equal to false so now the, there will not be any header so let me uh, run this once and we will check it up also fine now let's go to our here we'll see there will not be any header directly it starts from the our uh, records so let's uh, where it is here it is now what we are going to do is keep the header again and we'll say what we can assign a class also because in html whatever we generate we can assign the table a class so a external style sheet or anything to the we can integrate it so classes we are saying classes equal to if you are bootstrap 4 or you are using there is a class table class is there and table i'm just giving a, you can give your own name and do a internal style sitting also but uh, striped so this is a popular uh, bootstrap class so that i am using you not necessary that you must use this one saving this running now let's go to our uh, here you can i'll refresh this now this class is there and uh, now how to check it the class so i am just going the, you can do view page source or control plus u so i am doing control u sorry let me select it control u you can see see here the class is defined here let me close this come back here i can give one more thing option also here let me remove this i can give a space also so uh, column space so that will add to the our uh, table so i am removing this here i am giving column space this is the minimum width of the column i can give so call space i am giving 50 now what happens here now once i am giving this as 50 now this will be let me run this once fine so let me go here run this here i'll refresh refresh this so minimum width is 50 again we'll press ctrl plus u to see that you can see here it has added a minimum width of 50 pixel it is in px so it's in b uh, pixel it has added it i can ask to show the dimension means number of rows and columns so let me remove this and i'll say so dimension this i'll make it true now what happens once i am saving this and running it will show me number of rows and columns available so let us go there refresh this page you can see at the end here at the bottom most you can see 35 rows five columns that it is displaying so that is the uh, we can enable it by show dimension now let's just uh, we can also give a table id because when you are putting it in html page by as you can access the table id and uh, assign the style to it so for that i will say table id equal to let me give t1 so that that id and while reading the html file also we can read based on this id also so let's now we are concentrating on how to create it so let's give a table id so or i can i can give a my table let's give a descriptive bit my table so this table will be assigned a id like this so let's run this fine now it has come up now let's make go here refresh this now control plus u now you can see see the top line id equal to my table that's all friends hope it is clear how to take out the data from a data frame and create a uh, html file so it can be used elsewhere in the browser internet or anywhere else you can be now next will read how we will take out a uh, table html table data and create a data frame the source can be from a url or from a local system and from a url also from a specific area of the web page we can pick up the table and create our data frame that time we'll use read html 
सो होप यू आर एंजॉइंग इट एंड माई रिक्वेस्ट इज प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो विल बी नोटिफाइड एज एंड वेन वी एड न्यू न्यू ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड वी आर फ्रीक्वेंटली डूइंग दैट ऑल्सो एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट सजेशन क्वेश्चन यूज द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो टू पोस्ट इट प्लीज शेयर दिस विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग